Today I will be talking about five different career paths you can pursue once you have SQL knowledge. Number one is data analyst. Data analyst uses SQL for variety of purpose. Often they are dealing with relational databases such as Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, etc. And they use SQL for one of these purposes. Number one is ad hoc queries. A business manager comes to you and asks you to find out which store generated the maximum sales or maximum profit and you can just write a simple sql query and give them this answer number two is report generation many times they want to generate variety of reports which can give them business insights and those reports needs to be delivered at a certain time for example every day at nine o'clock in the morning for that also you will use sql you can use sql for doing exploratory data analysis in jupyter notebook as well and while pulling the data you'll write SQL queries uh, to filter and to do data transformation and the last use case is using SQL inside some BI tools such as Power BI and Tableau when you connect with the data source once again you want to filter some type of data and perform data transformation and for that purpose also you need SQL other than SQL you need to know at least one BI tool Power BI or Tableau for a data analyst jobs. There are some jobs which requires Python knowledge as well. To learn SQL, I have built this super affordable industry style project-based learning course, more than one and a half million records, and you will get a feeling as if you are working in the industry. This course also contains a lot of cinematic experiences, so I promise you will not get bored. Check the link in the video description below. The second one is SQL developer. Now this role is similar to data analyst, but as an SQL developer, you need to, in addition to building reports or performing data cleaning, you need to also design and develop databases. For data analyst role, mostly you are doing a reading. You are not designing new databases or performing write queries. Whereas for SQL developer, you might have to build new tables. You might have to do uh, performance improvements you will also be doing ETL so in terms of extra skills uh, you need to know data warehousing ETL knowledge of uh, cloud tools such as snowflake as well you can go through LinkedIn jobs and figure out various other skills which are required for this role but SQL is the main skill obviously the next role is data engineers. They are responsible for building data pipelines, just like plumber, you know, they build pipelines, but instead of water, data flows into this pipeline. They write various components which can do variety of transformations, variety of aggregation and uh, data format conversions and so on. And these data sources that they are dealing with could be RDBMS databases. And when you are reading the relational database or writing to it, obviously you have to know SQL. And then when you write this SQL query, it could be performing aggregation, data transformation and a variety of things. As a data engineer, you need to know some extra skills as well, such as Python or Scala as a programming language. You need to have strong software engineering skills and cloud tool knowledge. Once again, Snowflake or Amazon Redshift, etc. Go through LinkedIn jobs to find more about data engineering skills. Then comes data scientists. Their role is to help business generate insights from data and many times this data is residing into relational database so when they are building let's say machine learning model they will be writing sql query which can pull data from that relational database and then they perform our uh, data cleaning feature engineering etc in their jupyter notebook but if they don't know the first step which is sql they will be blocked on with their very first step which is pulling data from the data source to their notebook data scientist role is very demanding and obviously along with sql you need to know either python or r as a programming language math statistics have one bi tool machine learning and the most important is soft skills such as business understanding analytical thinking and communication the last one is full stack software engineers the software engineers role is to build three tier or n tier application where you have front end back end and a database and in the world majority of the databases even today are sql databases or relational databases and 
to perform CRUD operation, which is create, read, update, and delete, you need to have SQL knowledge. Other than SQL, you need to have knowledge of programming languages. It could be C Sharp or Java or Python. And you need to know front-end frameworks as, as well, such as the React, JS, or Bootstrap. Um, many companies hire these so-called full-stack engineers who can work on each of these tier, which is front-end, back-end, and database. I hope this short video gave you a good understanding on five different career paths you can pursue once you have SQL knowledge. If you have any question, please post in the comment box below. Also share this video with your friend who is trying to build a career in IT.